Today, Apple announced that they are raising the price of many of their services, including Apple Music, Apple TV, and with that also comes the increase in price of the Apple One bundle. If you're new to this channel, I actually made a video all about the Apple One bundle professing my love for it. It's actually, I think, one of my more successful videos on the channel. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put a little thing right over here for you to check out. It gives me access to Apple Music that I can share with my family, Apple Fitness, News, Arcade, and obviously iCloud. The two terabytes of data is the primary reason why I updated and I was already using Fitness and I was interested in checking out the Apple Music service and I have Apple TV Plus, so I said, why not? Let's just put everything together into one thing. Well, now with this announcement that they're increasing the price of the bundle by $3 per month, every single month. So an increase of $36 per year, a little more than what it costs for one month. So you're actually paying now what, what used to be uh, $29.99 per month is now $32.99, an increase of $3 Per month. The actual website has the individual plan for $16.95 where you can get music, TV, arcade, and iCloud with 50 gigs of storage. The family plan for $22.95 which gives you music, TV, arcade, and iCloud with 200 gigs of storage. And then the premier tier for $32.95 that gives you music, TV, arcade, news, fitness, and two terabytes of the iCloud storage. You know with this increase to $32.95, I now look at the list of services that they have. And granted, it's a great list of services, but there's something about charging $3 more than what you were charging before with no prior announcement, with no like, hey, this is coming in a few months just to let you know, like we're going to be charging more and it's because of this, that, whatever, and the next thing. No announcement at all, just all of a sudden today, now instead of $22.99, it is now $32.95. So that gets under my skin a little bit. It's one of the practices of Apple that, you know, what... The products are expensive. Let's not sugarcoat things, right? The products are expensive. You pay a premium for those products. But as I've said in my prior videos, you pay a premium for those products because not only are you paying for the product itself, but you're paying for the service of being in the Apple ecosystem. An ecosystem that to me is unrivaled. Uh, nothing comes close to the way that everything just works when all of your devices are under the Apple umbrella how your phone works with your computer, works with your iPad, works with your watch, works with your Apple Fitness, works with your Apple TV. Everything is seamless. You pay a premium to have that sort of service, right? Not only are the phones expensive, not only are the iPads expensive, not only are the desktops and laptops expensive, but the ecosystem itself is something that you need to continuously be a part of by having an iCloud account, right? You can either get the free version and get five gigabits of data, which what are you gonna do with that? You can get the 50 gigabits of data, you can get the 200 gigabytes of data, and then this is the really annoying part, it jumps from 200 gigabytes to two terabytes. There's no in between. There's no 500, there's no terabyte, there's no terabyte and a half, it's just 200 gigs and two terabytes. It's a massive gap in between of how much space that you can get. And so to go from a plan that gives you 200 gigabits in the family plan for $22.95, you have to pay $10 more to be in the cloud one, in the premier plan that has the iCloud Plus with two terabytes. Now granted, you get news with it and you get fitness with it. And I've made a prior video, which again, I'll link over here, that talks about how to me it's worth it because when you bundle all of them together and you use these services, then it's fantastic. Then I think it's definitely worth the price. Now the bundle being increased is the byproduct of the individual services going up in price as well. Apple Music is going up $1 to $10.99 a month now as opposed to $9.99 a month. Apple TV Plus is getting a $2 increase. The best deal in streaming is now sort of on par with Disney Plus, unfortunately, right? Apple TV Plus to me has, has not made anything that is not, you know, at least borderline good. Nothing awful in my personal opinion, although I haven't seen everything that's on there. If you've seen something that you think is just terrible, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, nothing that I think that has just out there, right? $2 increase gets you to $7 a month for Apple TV Plus. Look, I understand. That's kind of where the Disney Pluses of the world are. HBO Max now with their ad tier is sort of in that vein, right? So, okay, fine. 
It says here in Mac rumors that Apple says that the prices are going up as of today due to increased licensing costs. For Apple Music, the increase will provide artists and songwriters with additional money for their music. Um, that makes me laugh, and I'll tell you why in a second. The price of Apple TV Plus is rising now that it has more content, according to Apple. Okay, the reason why I laugh where they're saying Apple Music are increasing the price to help provide artists and songwriters with additional money for their music. Uh, Apple Music is, is not even... I'm sorry to say this. It's not relevant in comparison to Spotify. Spotify is the king to unseat. Their user experience is better. Their playlist experience is better. Now, granted, the quality of music, like the, the quality of the music, the, the, the sound quality is not as nice as like, let's say, spatial audio from Apple or getting a ridiculous audio bitrate from a service like Tidal. But Spotify was the originator, has been there from the beginning and is the one to unseat and no one hasn't seen them. And they're staying at $9.99. So for Apple to turn around and be like, well, we're, char we're charging a dollar more because we want to pay our artists more. Yeah, I don't buy it. And by the way, if you're new, please do consider subscribing. I make videos talking about tech and music uh, kind of finding that happy medium in between because those are the worlds that I live in. I live in music and I live in tech. Music producer, but very much into tech and technology and video production and that kind of stuff. Now, as far as television goes, sure, you're, uh, you know, paying for a show like The Morning Show, which is going to, uh, which costs a ton of money, several million dollars per episode, specifically because you have Jennifer Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, Steve Carell, although spoilers no longer, I think after the second season, I think he's out, and Billy Crudup and et cetera, et cetera on the show you're paying them a hefty penny okay cool see you got jason momoa that you got to pay all right cool ted lasso is a runaway success i'm sure you're paying jason sudeikis a whole lot more money now sure no problem i understand all of that so the two dollar increase for apple tv plus makes sense because they just want to create more content they want to do more things they made those movies with tom hanks that i've never seen i don't know if they're any good or not but uh yeah so they made those they you know they, they made a best movie in coda they, they didn't make it but they they basically distributed and released a, a 2021 oscar winning best movie so i get it there's a part of me that wishes that apple would be like cool enough to be like you know what we're gonna keep the family plan for Apple One at $29.99. And here's why, because we wanna provide even more value to you. We wanna give you Apple Music, and we wanna give you this increased value of Apple TV+, Plus, Apple Fitness, News, Arcade, all of this stuff. And we're telling you right now, we could have brought the price up, we should have brought the price up, inflation and all that kind of stuff, everything is expensive. A gallon of gas in California, is uh, upwards of six and a half dollars at the moment. We could have price gouged you, but we chose not to. We chose not to because we value you as a customer. We know we just put out brand new phones and brand new tablets and all that kind of stuff. We already know you've spent a ton of money, $800 on an Apple Watch Ultra and you know $600 on a 10th generation iPad when you get the keyboard and all that kind of stuff. That's a whole nother video, by the way. $1,000 on an iPhone 14 Pro, et cetera, et cetera. We, we, you, you have invested into our ecosystem into our products, into who we are as a brand. We thank you for that. And so we wanna give you the additional value of letting you know that while we could have price gouged you and brought the price up, we're keeping it exactly where it is. And they did not do that. Instead, this company whom I love, and let me make this perfectly clear, I like this company a lot. I like their products a lot. I love this ecosystem a lot. It's so easy to keep in touch with family, with friends, to FaceTime, to send messages, to share locations and notes and all these sorts of things. I really, really like this service a lot, but it pains me to sit here and just say, boom, all of a sudden I'm paying $36 more per year than I was before, just because they decided it was time to do so. No warning, no nothing whatsoever. And it's seriously making me consider whether or not I will continue being an Apple One subscriber. Like I have, I, I got YouTube Premium recently and it comes with YouTube Music. Maybe I say goodbye to Apple Music and I do YouTube Music for a little bit and try that out, right? That could be another video and I can talk about YouTube Music because I've never tried it out before. So we'll see. This has seriously made me reconsider whether or not I am a subscriber of the Apple One service. It is a service that I genuinely, genuinely enjoy and, and appreciate, but it's also just really getting on my nerves that three dollars just like that uh, per month increase again no warning no nothing just hey we're starting it out at three dollars a month and now instead of paying 29.99 a month you'll be paying 32.95 per month 
for the Premier plan, if you will, if you want that two terabytes. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the price increase of Apple One and its subsequent services. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video if you did. Please let me know what you think because I really do love conversing with you guys. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing as I just hit that thousand subscriber milestone. Thank you again so much to everyone who helped me get there. I promise more videos are coming and I promise they're gonna be more and more engaging and entertaining. At least I'll do my very best. My name is Amir. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.